hello and welcome back welcome back welcome back so this is going to be a sewing video and i'm going to show you guys how i made this pillow um reading pillow pocket pillow um whatever you want to call it but it has a pocket right here in the front and it has an envelope back so there's no um you don't even have to put a zipper in i mean you can put a zipper in if you want to but this video is going to be how you do the envelope back so let's go over the materials you're going to need fabric of course so the one i'm doing today is um this print i purchased this vintage fabric from joanne's fabric um, you need fabric, you need pins, you're going to need scissors, of course. Um, I use my rotary cutter to cut my fabric. I have a self-healing mat. Um, you're going to need um, this ruler, this seam gauge. You're going to need um, this ruler right here. And what else? Your iron. And you'll need um, a pillow insert, a pillow form. So I purchased this from Walmart. These are the 16 inch um, pillow forms. They are like eight, they're eight something for the two pack or they're like $5 for one single one. Um, but these came from Walmart. So I'm going to adjust my camera so you can see down on my, down on my um, mat. And I'm going to give you all the dimensions and stuff for the fabric. Okay, so I have already cut um, my fabric. So I've already cut it. And what you're going to need, like, for the main the main um, fabric, so this is going to be the front of the pillow. So you're going to need one um, 16 by 16 piece. So this is 16 by 16, and this is for the front, right? Then you're going to need, um, for the back, you're going to need two pieces that are 16 by 11, right? So these are 16 by 11. I already have this one prepped, so don't pay those pins no mind. We'll go over there in a second. So um, 16 by 11 for the back. Uh, for the pocket, you're going to need one piece that is um, 16 by, this one is 16 by 10. So this is going to be for the pocket lining. This is um, 16 by 9, right? And um, I already embroidered on this. You don't, if you don't have an embroidery machine, you don't have to embroider. You can leave it um, like it is. Or if you have a, a vinyl cutter, you can use vinyl or whatever. But um, I did this one in embroidery. I already embroidered on it. Um, so, yeah. So that's what you need for the fabric pieces. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to sew these two pieces together, right? So you're going to sew your pocket together. So, um, of course, again, one side is longer than the other. So you're going to sew it along the top, right? You're going to put wrong sides, uh, right sides, right sides together, and you're going to sew it across the top like so. So... Let me pin this really quick. I'm going to pin this just like this. And then I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine and I will be right back. All right, so we're back. And all I did was just do a straight stitch across here so i have interfacing on here you do not have to use interfacing if you don't want to i only use this because i did embroidery if i was doing vinyl i probably wouldn't i mean it don't hurt whether you use it or not um but so i just did a, stri a straight stitch across there so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this up and i am going to press my seam open I'm just going to grab my iron and give it a quick press down the middle, like so. And that's that. So now, again, the back piece is longer, remember, so it looks like this. Right? So the next thing we're going to do, we're just going to, well, I'm just going to fold it over so the bottom edges meet. So I'm going to fold it over so the bottom edges meet like that. 
and I have this is what it looks like at the top now this is what it looks like so I'm going to press this down just give it a little quick press like this so that's what it looks like and then I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew a straight stitch down here like so to give it like a um, fake binding type of look so I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine press that and I'll be right back okay and I'm back so I had to pull my thread out and start it over but um as you can see I just did a straight stitch across the top of there nothing fancy so that's the pocket we're done with that for now right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our back flaps together so as you can see i've already did this one so basically what you're going to do is you're just going to um roll your hem and press it down right just like that so i'm going to do this one so this fabric is directional so i have to make sure i'm doing it the right way so that's going to be the so let's see oh no nope, that's upside down okay so let me get my little ironing board because i i tried to iron on my um <laughs> this little mat one time and i definitely messed it up so i'm just going to do a little hem where's my seam gauge thing i think i'm a jigger so basically, I'm just going to, um, I got it marked at uh, a half an inch. So I'm just going to um, fold my fabric over, which I did this already. I just undid it. So <laughs> my creases are still in there. So I'm just going to fold it over and give it a press. Just like that. Nothing fancy. All right. And then I'm going to fold it over again. Now, if you have a serger, of course you could serge these raw edges. Um, I have hot pink thread in my serger, and um, I don't think hot pink will look good on this, and I don't feel like changing it out right now. So, so that's that. And then I'm just going to pin it together because I, because. Um, I'm really not like a expert sewer, so I definitely have to have pins all the time. <laughs> Pinning is my thing. Right. So we're just going to pin it together. And then I am going to take these two pieces over to my sewing machine. And I'm just going to do a straight stitch across there. And then I will be back. Okay, now I'm back and I have stitched, stitched this, just a straight stitch, nothing fancy on both sides. So now we are going to um, put our pillow together. <clears throat> so this is the front and of course I have directional fabric. So this is going to be the top. The shoes are facing up or should they be facing down? I think I like them facing up. Yeah. Either way, <laughs> I think I'm going to have them facing up. So we have this. And then, so right side up, we're going to lay our pocket on top of our top fabric, our main fabric. We're going to lay our pocket on top, just like that. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do our two back pieces. So the the seam that you made, that's going to be the middle, right? So we're doing we're doing the back pieces um, right side down. So this is going to go down on top just like that. And then this is going to go like this right so then we're just going to pin it all the way around
just pin it like so. too far up so let me just adjust that a little bit bring that down put those pins back in there alright all right, so we have it pinned so now we're going over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew all the way around all right so we are here at the sewing machine um i do not have a fancy sewing machine i have this brother ls 2400 um and it gets the job done right so we're going to just sew all the way around do a little back stitch pulling out the pins as we go um i always start with the bottom because it's it's so bulky at the bottom so i just want to make sure i sew that first i mean you don't have to start you can start wherever you want to start but for me i just do the bottom first because it's so bulky and like i said i have this brother ls 2400 i've had this sewing machine for almost seven years um i asked i wanted it for christmas one year and my mom yeah my mama still buy me christmas gifts <laughs> so i thought i wanted to sew so i asked for um a sewing machine and my mom bought it for me and then i tried to sew and i just couldn't get it right and i just like put it to the side like i didn't really um so make sure when you that your needle is down when you are rotating your fabric and we are going to continue to sew so again my mom bought me this uh for christmas um ooh, yeah seven, seven years ago probably and i am just now really starting to sew um, I made a few things like in the past. I, I do know how to do uh, maxi skirts. I took a, a sewing class um, about two years ago. So I learned how to do that. So I made those. Um, I know how to make hair bonnets. I could do head, head wraps. So there's some things that I can do. But again, I've had this sewing machine for um, seven years. And like um i really didn't use it as much and now i really want to get into sewing um, especially since i have an embroidery machine now um mask was very popular for me when the pandemic first started so i did do a lot of sewing then i learned a lot of things um So now I've been looking at other sewing machines. I really want to upgrade. But again, <laughs> I don't even really use this one enough. I think I just want to upgrade just because, you know, I want a computerized one that I probably hardly ever use. Uh-oh. Sorry about that. So we are almost done. We just have this one side left. And you notice, like, we didn't, I didn't say leave an opening or anything to turn your pillow because since we did the envelope back, um, we didn't need to leave an opening. Just sew all the way around. That's it. We are done. We are done. 
Okay, so this is it. This is what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the corners. So trim all the corners and that just makes it easier um, when you flip it. It just makes it easier. So I'm going to trim the corners. And again, we have this um, envelope back. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to turn it right side out and poke those corners out as we're turning like so and voila so I'm going to take this over to my ironing board and uh, press it down and I'll be right back. All right, so this is what we have. I have pressed it and she believes she could, so she did. That's um, Miss Amanda Gorman, the, the young lady that spoke um, at the inauguration. So that's that. And then of course we have our, our pillow insert I always uh, rip this tag off when I put my tools in I don't know I just don't like it <laughs> um, and then we just insert our pillow like so and there we have it there we have it. That is how you do the pillow. Um, I have this one I did for my grandson. And I actually put a handle on this. And I think that's that's really cool. Like for, for kids, for younger kids, you can put a handle. And they can just carry it, carry it around. Um, I will put the measurements. Excuse me. I will put the measurements for the handle in the description as well. So, I hope that was helpful. You guys have a great day. I'm getting ready to go to work. Um, today is the last work day of the week for us. We have a long weekend. So, I'm about to make it a great day. So, see you guys next time.